with Melody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a new DIY of this top I'm wearing right now. It's basically a halter and a bralette. And I was inspired to make this top. There was one at the Victoria's Secret store. And it had this type of triangular back and then these same straps in the front. I came across this beautiful like dark bronzy orange underwear and when I turned it around it looks so much like a halter top especially with the back detailing and I thought it'd be super cute if it was a halter top so anyways without further ado hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get started materials include sewing machine or needle and thread lingerie strap slides and rings scissors and some pins so here is the front of the underwear I'm going to rotate it just for the halter top and then at the edge or crotch area you can either seam rip this divider with a seam ripper or you can just cut it with some scissors and now that it's separate I'm gonna cut off the second layer of fabric at the back you can ignore this step if you don't have this extra layer and since my pair is lacy I wanted them to be see-through and not layered and now that it is off and my back is see-through I'm just going to cut off the back edge straight and then get ready for the hemming part by pinning it first and then cutting off the excess fabric on the sides. Then I'll be hemming the front as well just folding it at least two times and then pinning it closed just like this. And now it's time to secure these hemmed edges. You can either use a sewing machine or hand stitch it yourself it doesn't really matter whatever works for you and now for the straps I gathered some strap slides and rings and I found straps that perfectly match the color of the underwear first I'm going to loop the strap in one slide at least an inch or two just like this adjust it and then just repeat it to the other side you want to secure a zigzag stitch to both just like this and now that that's secured, we'll be using only one ring and then looping both straps to the ring. Now loop one strap over the existing loop strap over it, if that makes sense. You can use tweezers if you can't easily pull it out like what I'm doing here. I should have definitely ironed my straps before so I can easily see if it's aligned. Like I said before, just loop it over the existing strap. Then just repeat it to the other side. Now grab a pin and insert the strap through the hem hole like what I'm doing here. I had to readjust my back hem for the lingerie slides and rings to go through. Adjust it to the middle to make it even. Then I cut some excess strap fabric off for it not to be too long. And then I'm going to grab another safety pin and insert it through the front hem casing. Just like this. Just through one strap side because I'll be attaching the two ends with a zigzag stitch on the sewing machine. Adjust that stitch to the middle of the hem. And now cut off the tag on the front. And last but not least, it is a little bit too loose on me, so I'm going to adjust these sides by stitching at least half an inch on both sides just to make it a little more snug because it is a size large and I am pretty petite. Now just adjust the straps and then you're finished with your DIY halter top. this video you can definitely do this DIY with a sewing machine or hand stitching but I prefer using sewing machine because of the secure finishes that it makes but I love how this just goes way back to my first video on YouTube where I transform an old pair of leggings into a halter top and this video is transforming a pair of underwear into a halter top so as you can tell I love halter tops I just love the end result the lace trimming around it the little scallop edge at the end and the adjustable straps that it has just so it could fit my big head. I did get a size large just to get more surface area if you know what I mean 
and then just trim down the sides and then voila you have yourself a halter or slash bralette top hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like comment down below and see you next video bye This was $4.